Well, let's go back to to the name change. So you were originally Chinatown Market, right? Yeah. And how long had you had that name for? November 2016. Okay, so initially, from what I've read, is that you were inspired by the, the markets in the Chinatown section of District of New York City, Specifically correct? the t-shirt shops on Canal Street, which are okay. very much like, you can buy fuck you fucking fuck shirts, I love New York, like it's like all the novelty, like bootleg, fun, like just t-shirts for lack of a better term. So is it fair to say that you liked the do whatever you want, like slap it on a t-shirt, like that, you know, that freedom. It's the rapid that, creativity. That you because, were trying to emulate yeah. and, and inspired by. Yeah. Uh, so like when, when did you start seeing pushback on the name? When did that start to become an issue if you've had it since 2016? You know, I think that there, there would sometimes be like conversations, but I think, you know, it, it takes certain conversations to help open your eyes in a larger way because when I started the brand, it was like, oh yeah, I'm not creating something to hurt anyone. Like I'm doing this thing because it's inspired by t-shirt shops on Canal Street in New York. That's in Chinatown. And so, you know, you start to like build up this almost like framework, like, oh yeah, nothing I'm doing is wrong. But then as you start to have those conversations, which I think was started within the past year, was like close friends of mine, you know, people in the industry. And, you know, for every one of those kind of people, there was an opposite where I would have my friend who is Chinese call me and be like, fuck that, bro. You got to stay is what this is. Like, they don't fucking get it. And I'm like, that's nice, dude. But like, this isn't about me fighting some good fight over a name that I created out of in five minutes out of some like moment. It's recognizing that I got to listen to people who may not be my customer, may not even care or anything, but it's affecting them. And recognizing that first and foremost is key to this whole thing. Because I think like, you could easily ignore all of it and be like, screw it, we're fighting the good fight, protect the brand. But it was like, no, we had to listen to the community, make sure that we transitioned smart and left it behind with respect so that we didn't just tarnish the name of Chinatown. We tried to say, hey, no, we recognize that's not a name for us to own. Let's leave it behind with respect. Let's work with these different organizations to make sure that we're donating in that time. And through that transition, making sure that we're, yeah, as I said, doing it right. So sure, it was definitely a wild time and, you know, a huge question mark going through trying to figure out how to rebrand a, a clothing brand that's been established and all that kind of stuff. But I think landing on what market was, it recognized that we're not changing who we are. We're not abandoning the brand of where, where we came from. I think it's just all about continuing to solidify who we are. So as we double down on that stuff, it's just continuing to be who the brand's always been. And that's kind of the nice part is like by having market, we're not losing market out of our name. And you know, as well, I don't think people really realize like how much the craziness of getting a new name was. And that's not a pity or anything, but I think like people were like, why don't you guys have a new name yet? What's up? And we're like, yeah, actually it's because trademarks take a really long time or, you know, three times lawyers told us, sorry, it's not going to work. Yeah. You know? Well, in that vein, were there other names that you considered? Yeah. Your, like, I mean, I won't share, share them because like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I might, I might uh, yeah. still use them, but you know, <laughs> it's one that I will share is like my first clothing brand was originally called Ice Cold New York. I then at that time was shut down by these guys who owned the, owned the trademark for Ice Cold and clothing. Those guys never used it and ended up becoming an abandoned mark. I literally have the word Ice Cold tattooed on my arm because that's what I thought the brand was going to be called. And then I had to change the name to ICNY, which then became this thing of like, I see New York. You know what I mean? As visibility, night riding. Like it was the greatest audible of my life. So it's kind of funny and ironic that I've had to change my brand name twice each time, you know, my first brand, I changed the name because I originally was ice cold New York. That's why I launched it. The whole thing had to change the name this time, change the name. And I'm like, God damn, man, you know, like, but at the same time, that goddamn has nothing to do with like, you know, that experience. I think it just has to do with, yeah, man, like I just want to be creative and make products that people love. Like I'm never here to go create something that would offend people or hurt, you know, especially an underserved community like that. And it's like, you know, when you really took a step back, you had to recognize like Chinatowns were in a place where you chose to live. You were relegated to live there. That was somewhere where you were forced to live because you couldn't live there anywhere else. And some families did not have that choice. So in that experience, I had to recognize that. And, you know, that's through lots of conversations and making sure you're not just hearing the story you want to hear. 